Hi everyone, this is Leo, and welcome back to our last lesson of the analog clock tutorial. So to make things simple, uh, I will only do the seconds hand in this lesson and leave the minutes and hour hands to you guys. And I will put the answers and explain it in next week's video. And um, let's start by. Uh, talking about what functions we will use today so first open our project and here you can see the two functions we will use today the first one is set line width in canvas so uh, we can go to our canvas and find this function and the bottom setting the line width so for the second hand I set it to 1 and for minute hands you can set it to 2 and lastly for our hands you can set it to 3 so the line width is uh, the, the smaller the line width is the width is just smaller so the second function is the draw line function which we can draw a line in our canvas a straight line so it takes both parameters x y coordinates for point one and point two for point one we already know that is the center of our clock which is 160 and 160 so how about point two so um for our second hands uh point two actually change every seconds so how do we find it out so in mathematics we have two functions called sine and cosine it can uh, we can use it to find the length relationship uh, in a triangle so I will explain it here with my draw board and if you already know that you can skip this part but I will explain it here so um, remember that in our app inventor, our canvas, we have a 320 times 320 canvas, and the upper left corner is zero zero, and this is uh, 320. 0 because x and y this is 320 320 and this is 0 320 so the center is 160 and 160 which is the center of our clock point one uh, let's say it's point a and the line that we want to draw is point b which is uh i would just put text like one minute later so this angle is called theta and this is 90 degree it's a 90 degree triangle so uh, let's say this the length of this line is called L and this is called Y and this is X so the coordinates for point B is actually 160 plus X and the Y coordinates is 160 minus y so now what we need to do is to find x y uh, in order to find x and y we can use sine and cosine function so for a triangle sine theta is equals to uh, x over l so x is equals to L times C 
sine theta and for cosine theta is similar is equals to y over l so y is equals to l times cosine theta so after we know the value of x and y we can find the coordinates for point b so let's go to go back to our app inventor so remember that we need to what what functions we need to use um, okay so the x coordinates is 160 plus x and x is equals to l times sine theta so we need a plus function here and also the sine function here okay sine function is under here so uh, I also want to teach you guys a technique here is called external inputs so you can see here the inputs for this add function is just one long line if, if your input is very long you have to scroll to uh, the right to see the whole thing so if you don't want to do that you can right click your block and choose external inputs and it will form two separate lines for your inputs okay so um 160 plus x which is l times sine theta so we need to find this function also external it so align with is actually the pixel the number of pixel and which is uh, related to the canvas so let's say our canvas is 320 so half is 160 so well you don't want your your seconds hand to to be too long and longer than a circle so remember that our circle radius is 120 so let's just put this number This is the line width. And here we need to find the angle. So uh, let's go back to our draw board. So, how do we find this theta? So, for seconds, hands, we form a, uh, a cycle for 60 seconds. So 60 seconds equals to 360 degree. So we want to know for each second the value of theta. So each second is equals to 360 over 60. So which is equals to 6 degrees per second. So let's move back to our app inventor. Each second is six degrees. So um, remember that we can simply go to the clock here and find the seconds information. Uh, and uh, here yeah we just use this function 
back here. Remember? We uh well we can just copy this actually. This function is going to call uh the value of the seconds of the clock. So before doing the sign function, we need to multiply this seconds by 6. So also call uh, external inputs and time 6 because each seconds is 6 degrees. So we put this in our x2 So now we only need to do the y So it's just similar to x We can duplicate it and change some values of it But uh, remember that we are using a minus here Here, select cosine, and uh, I think that's it. And we can put this block just after we set a line width. So let's say we put it here after we draw the circle, and uh, let's open our emulator to see if it works. Okay, so here's our seconds hand. Um, this is our seconds. So if it goes to 60, it should be 0 degree. Yes. Okay, so this is the seconds hand. And for the minutes hands, it's also the same. Uh, you just need to know uh, the degrees you need to take for each minute. So uh, 60 minutes form a cycle, so it's similar to the seconds hand, but for the hours, well, the hours form a cycle in 12 hours, so you need to notice about that and also, you don't want to only get the timing information of hour. You may also need to consider the minutes because, well, we don't want our clock to directly jump from 12 hour to 1 hour. It will be strange. So, uh, to make it more smooth, we also need to add the minutes to the degrees so I will show you guys the answers next week so let's end our lessons here and goodbye